In this week's episode, Ryan breaks down, it rains, and we play in the sand. Welcome back. This was the weekend we wanted to get the marina on the road so we could drive it back to Robin Hood's Bay. We missed that deadline, but it didn't matter because Elaine, who we bought the car from, was not there. She was at home in Wakefield, so we could pop round any time we wanted. Get chicken bites out of there. Chicken bites. What's in the boot? <laughs> Craig came in his frog eye sprite with Matt as his passenger. And there wasn't a lot of room, so we had to put the groceries in my Z3. Craig got Matt's lunchbox out. No, I mean his radio control car. Apart from Craig and Andy, we were bringing a selection of Tamiya RC cars, as we really are children. Yeah, put that in there. Oh, we're taking that out, eh? Can you go, 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 Right, milk and bacon, that. Right. Take your scratching strap into the No, right. right. Get all this in my car. Mike's by sending it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone got a big screw? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a cable tie. And we were off. Hello, We got some walkie talkies, especially for this trip. Thinks of fuel back here. First stop, the motorist, where Ryland found out he had no reverse gear. We fueled up with coffee and then headed on our way to our next stop of Thornton Lee Dale. Time for a team photo outside Matthewson's auctions. And yes, the hubcap is very much part of our team. We don't treat it nearly as badly as you lot think. <laughs> we then drove up the road to the warehouse to see what they had on offer. This Rover 213 with 1700 miles on the clock sold for a record £7,500. Then we were back on our way to Robin Hood's Bay. It was at this point it starts raining heavily. The minis don't like rain. So we pulled over and did the time on the tradition of putting a plastic bag over the distributor.
four and a half hours and 95 miles later, we're at Robin Hood's Bay. Once in the accommodation, we sorted out our sleeping arrangements. Ryan, being the youngest, got the child's bed. You can climb into the portal, right, should you wish. I won't fit through that portal. I think I might get my head through that portal. Massive bed. Oh yeah. It's four foot wide. And Simon, El Presidente, got the double bed. Saya. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Because you do all the work. Where, where's my you, do, you do the most most hard work of all of us. You get a double bed. Oh, now for a relaxing pint or two. <laughs> the worst thing about Robin Hood's Bay is not in fact Ooh. the walk back up the hill. It's the walk back up the hill after a pizza and some pints. <laughs> What you can do, right, is grab all the something, steal some of their momentum. Like this. <laughs> How does it stay? There's no point in walking back up for being a sandwich. Back at the house, we put our feet up and put on our favourite YouTube channel. Us lot. And Craig going, f***ing hell, I'm smart. Bollocks, we didn't do that. This is bollocks. Yeah. It's for camera, this. Yeah. Anyway, we're looking to buy a car now. Yeah, we're all on charge. Oh, yeah, right, and then we're about 10% this morning, we'll be full on charge. <laughs> I can't remember what it is now. Rear engine, what? Two, two dock rear engines, Skoda. Air cooled. Yeah. Like a, like a saloon looking thing, but air cooled. You don't know about Skoda, do you? No. Yeah. Four grand. Yeah. Kawasaki Green. Yeah, it's been too. Grand. Mm -hmm. Not four grand. Well, that's a little bit. Used to be two grand, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Not two grand. <laughs> it was, I, nearly, I nearly bought it, yeah, it was silly. We only wanted about two and a half for it, and I nearly bought it. I went to look at it and went, Put on a little bit to me, Phil. I've been watching a few of cars for sale, and none, nothing seems to be moving. No, it doesn't. He's <laughs> been, it's been stuck, I've been looking and just like watching and cleaning, and just, just sat there. Mm. Price doesn't go down, it does disappear, but then about a month or two later it pops back up again at the same price. You know, you can buy a Lancia Fulvery for 10 grand. Mint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking at that picture, we're looking at Rip, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, that's got a bit of a concave look to it. It's a three, <laughs> it's a, it's a three that, though. Series three. Yeah. <coughs> Earlier on, Ryan had managed to make a cup of tea with three spoons of salt. <laughs> Oh, did you? You didn't. I found salt. You know, babe. I wonder what you're dipping it out for, you plump pot. <laughs> fucking salt like that nowadays. Did right? it taste yeah, right? Where? In pot in corner. Really? Yeah. Right next to the kettle. Right next to the <laughs> kettle. Yeah, right next to kettle. Oh, and sugar. That. And tea and oh, coffee. Well, I had a fall for that as well. Oh, that's salt, isn't it? Is it salt thing? It's a salt thing, yeah, salt thing. yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Reach in with your fingers and put that in you. Yeah, they've got big tea. openings like, like that to put in and. That's the yeah. Yeah, but it's big enough for a spoon. I've never, well, never seen one before yeah. in my life. I've, I've three spoonfuls. Yeah, three spoonfuls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two spoonfuls. Like, ah, I've been drinking water all day today <laughs> now. We only had a sip for you half now, right? Is it not nice? No, it's it's not I've, I've, I've had that before. Tea with salt in. And it, oh, it's grim, isn't it? I believe you're starting here. It's gorgeous out there. I know. <laughs> I, but I like it. To, I like it to be oh, nice outside. I should sit inside. It's better looking at the sea through the window. If you're miserable inside, and it's lovely yes, outside. I, 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 if it was raining and moving all, then I'm miserable. You'd be outside, wouldn't you? You're never miserable. What? What? I'm not, not always. You're never miserable. I am. Oh God. You do. You do know. You have realised that then. Oh yes, I'm the uh, eternal comfy bastard. I am the comfy bear of the bed. Before you met us, did you laugh much? No. Mm. Three and a half grand gets you a tipper truck. No. We should get all, all get in it. It's under a pound each, so that's I can be able to buy. You don't know, find out in there, you're better looking. You better need some. I'd be able to buy a used dustbin wagon and convert it into a camper van. 
transit van. There was something on the street. What, so you're f***ing blowing earth. the dark stars on the roof? Yeah, inside. Being warmer than because it's like a metal furnace inside. <laughs> <laughs> And you can get loads of people in it. Yeah, you just keep bobbing them in and pressing buttons. <laughs> come on, come on. Just one way trip. Yeah. Not only is Simon a bodywork king, he's a Tamiya geek and helped us all prepare our cars. He even painted my sand scorcher as a ratty herbie. <laughs> Sugar eggs. Abandoned rat. You mean the people? The retail. No, it's what. Two working ones. And then, as we were finishing up, Matt's brother Jim and his nephew Lars arrived with their cars. Oh dear. <laughs> Is that from Robot Wars? <laughs> yeah, there's always some twat with a bigger wallet than you. Isn't there? you know what I mean? <laughs> If you've ever owned a Tamiya, you'll know you can spend more time fixing things than actually driving them. Matt's speed controller wasn't working, so I let him use my 1980s Rough Rider. But the suspension broke, so he robbed the speed controller out of it so he could put it into his own. To the pub. Come on, mate. Come You've on. You've got a massive mouth. <laughs> Look at, look, at, look at the throat going there. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, you down. On the way back, Matt picked up a young lady. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. That was a lot of effort. <laughs> did you get a number? <laughs> the next morning we did the dishes and tidied up, ready to leave. I want to break free. Yep, yeah, we drove to Gotland where Heartbeat was filmed. Simon owns a Ford Prefect that appeared in a few episodes but had never been here before. 16 years after the last episode, people still visit. Heartbeat was set in the 60s and ran for 18 series and there were actually 11 Christmas episodes. Work that one out. After a quick coffee, we were on our way to drive around the wet and windy North York Moors. So Craig took us down a narrow road and we all had to do three point turns. Except Ryan who, if you remember, had no reverse gear. Pull forward Andy. I mean good. No, okay. Not after Andy, you want... Which room do you want? Stuff that if it goes wrong I can stop. Put our hoods up and headed for home. 
but not before stopping at NY500 near Pickering for lunch. There was a Saab meeting on. Then we were back on the motorway heading home. They say the best memories are made when you least expect it. Did we let a little rain dampen our spirits? Not a chance. In fact, it only added to the thrill of the adventure. Because here's the thing about life. It's not about waiting for the storm to pass, but rather learning to dance in the rain. And that's exactly what we did. We embraced the unpredictable weather, the slippery roads and the endless downpour. Why? Because we were together with our mates, creating memories that would last a lifetime. So. Here's to getting out in your cars, whatever the weather. Here's to the spontaneous road trips, the unplanned detours, and the unstoppable laughter. Still working. Look at that old cover. We got it. Oh, that's the best thing at weekends. <laughs>